we want to simplify the given expression. We have 22m to the sixth p to the second divided by 2m to the ninth p. To simplify this fraction, we'll be using the quotient property of exponents shown here, where a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m minus n. So for dividing in the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents, and when subtracting the exponents, it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So looking back at our example, we'll first simplify the coefficients. Well, 22 divided by two simplifies perfectly to 11, so we have 11. Now we'll look at the factors of m. We have m to the sixth divided by m to the ninth, which should be equal to m raised to the power of six minus nine. Now looking at the factors of p, we have p to the second divided by p, which is p to the first, and therefore we'd have p raised to the power of two minus one. And now we'll simplify the exponents. So we have 11 m to the power of six minus nine, that's negative three. And then we have p raised to the power of two minus one, which would be p to the first. And of course we don't need this exponent of one on the p, but we'll leave it for right now. This is still not considered simplified because because we're asked to divide all answers with positive exponents. So here we have m to the negative three, which we need to simplify. So looking back at our exponent rules, a to the power of negative m equals one over a to the power of positive m. A nice way to remember this rule is if we write a raised to the power of negative m as a fraction with a denominator of one, if we move this exponential expression down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So looking at our expression, to write this in fraction form with a denominator of one, we can move m to the power of negative three down to the denominator, which would change the sign of the exponent. So the simplified expression would be a fraction with a numerator of 11p and a denominator of m to the third. But I also want to show us another way, which takes a little bit more work, but it will verify this answer is correct. So again, starting with 22m to the sixth p to the second, divided by two m to the ninth p, we can expand the numerator and expand the denominator and then simplify and we should get the same result. So the prime factorization of 22 would be two times 11 times m to the sixth would be six factors of m. So m times m times m times m times m times m. So six factors of m times p to the second would be two factors of p. And now for the denominator, we have two, which is prime, times m to the ninth, so we have nine factors of m, and one factor of p. And now we can simplify the fraction. Two divided by two simplifies to one. And notice we have six common factors of m, which would all simplify to one. And we have one common factor of p, p divided by p simplifies to one. Now the remaining factors will give us our simplified expression. So looking at the numerator, notice how we have 11p. Now looking at the denominator, notice how we have one, two, three factors of m, which would give us m to the third in the denominator which of course gives us the same result. I hope you found this helpful.